What's up guys, welcome to the video. For those of you that watched my last video where I went in and did that crazy, crazy workout with the eFit, the electric muscle stimulation, I am here to report to you that I was sore for days after that workout. My quads are actually still feeling it. If you have not checked out that workout video yet, go back to my last video right before this one, and I think you'll be able to tell just by the faces I was making alone how intense that workout was, and yes, I was absolutely feeling it. The first day after wasn't as bad, but the second and third day, I was like, holy crap, I can't even sit down to pee right now. My butt hurts, my hamstrings hurt, my brain hurts, like literally everything inside me was feeling it. To say that it was effective, yeah, I would say so. I actually plan on going back for another session next week. I don't know why I'm gonna put myself through that torture again, but I like a challenge, so why not? So yeah, I'm gonna go in for another session next week. After talking more with Monica, the trainer who also owns the company, I really do think that if I'm consistent with it and incorporate it on top of my regular training that it very well could increase my performance in my regular training. And there's also a ton of research that shows that it could help with my conditioning as well. And as we know, when you're a competitor, the level of conditioning you bring to the stage is very important. So I'm really excited to see how incorporating this into my regular training routine, um, if it can make a difference. So we'll see, I'll keep you guys posted. I am here checking in with you and being completely, completely transparent. And I am going to tell you that this past week has been so rough for me. Along this journey, we're constantly testing ourselves and challenging ourselves physically when it comes to, you know, our workout routines and our training. But there's so much about this journey that tests us mentally and emotionally as well. And this week has been just that for me. I've talked about this in previous videos, but uh, anxiety is something that I've struggled with pretty much my entire life. I've learned very well how to cope with it and how to manage it and the different coping mechanisms and strategies that work for me. And I've shared a lot of those different things in many of my vlogs, you know, some of them being meditation, which is something that I'm regular with, uh, prayer, journaling, and just other little things that I find help keep my stress levels low and my anxiety levels manageable. But, you know, sometimes it just comes at you like a ton of bricks and it just happens and it gets the best of you. I definitely let that happen this week. My mental and emotional state was feeling a little bit weak. Some of the things that are triggers to my anxiety. Number one, I am definitely a perfectionist to a fault. I want to be and try to be the very best me I can be in literally everything that I have my hands in. I want to be the best coach and the best trainer to my clients. I want to be the best friend to all of my friends. I want to be the best daughter to my parents. I want to make them proud. I want to be the best YouTuber for you guys. I want to provide you guys with quality, informative, and valuable co content that you can actually do things with and learn things from. I want to be the best bikini competitor. I want to be the best at my prep. I want to make sure that I'm literally making every single effort to do everything absolutely perfect so that I don't ever have to question whether or not I put in the work. I know that I put so much pressure on myself to be so perfect when in reality I know that perfection doesn't even really exist. I have to remind myself to just do the best that I can and that God will meet me where I'm at and he will help me finish the rest. And so that's what I'm working on reminding myself of right now and I think another thing I struggle with is when things are out of my control. Uh, I struggle with also not being able to have enough time to make myself available to everyone that I feel deserves my full attention and there's only one of me and I want to be able to give, 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 give. I read a passage actually in my devotional just the other day about being a powerful giver and I truly believe that, you know, that is my purpose here. I know I'm not perfect but I also know that I have so much to give and whether that be love, whether that be knowledge, whether that be compassion, I just know that I have so much in me that I want to give. My heart feels most fulfilled when I know that I'm giving in whatever way that may be. And so I think the takeaway here for me and for I hope for you guys is that don't put so much pressure on yourself. I gotta stop putting so much pressure on myself. 
to be perfect. Perfection just doesn't exist. As long as we're just doing the absolute best we can, we have to just be okay with that. And I know at this point in time that I am doing the best that I can. And so I've just been praying for strength and I honestly appreciate you guys so much for your support. And on that note, like I said, along this journey, we are doing so much to take care of ourselves physically, but we need to make sure that we're always taking care of ourselves mentally and emotionally as well. I cannot stress enough the importance of self-care and finding things that help you wind down, finding things that help you feel at peace. So in this video, I'm actually just going to be sharing a couple of things with you guys that have helped me kind of get re-centered and kind of reshift my mindset and put me in a good place to finish out this last week of prep. Strong. As you guys know, my faith is something that's really important to me. And so in this first little bit of footage, I'm going to be sharing a conference that I was able to attend. I bought tickets for months and months and months ago, and this was the Hillsong Color Conference. And just spending the day at this conference surrounded by thousands of women who are just so empowered and strong in their faith left me feeling so empowered and definitely put me in a good place mentally and emotionally. And in the second half of the video, I'm also going to be showing you a certain kind of facial that I get. Getting regular facials, massages, and things like that are definitely a couple of things on my list of things to do for self-care. We all have our own list of things that help us relieve our stress, that keep our anxiety levels low, and those are a couple of things for me. I hope that you guys enjoy this video. Video. Remember to take care of yourself, not only physically, but mind, body, and soul. And I promise you that if you're taking care of yourself mentally and emotionally as well, your body is going to respond so much better too. And I hope that you'll join me throughout Peak Week for this next show of my season. And as always, I appreciate you guys from the bottom of my heart. Thank you so much for being here, and I hope that you enjoy the footage. What's up, guys? I am so excited. I'm in an Uber right now on my way to downtown LA for the Hillsong Church Color Conference. This is a women's conference that I bought tickets for like literally months ago. Whoa, the sun. And I have been counting the days ever since. And it's finally here. It is actually a 12 hour day. So from 9 a.m. until 9 p.m. I'm so excited. I honestly don't even know what to expect or what I'm in for, but I've heard that it's an incredible experience. I'm the two weeks out from my show, so I have all of my meals packed with me for the day. Gotta stay on track. And hopefully I'll be able to get some clips inside and take you guys along with me. got ahi salad nikki's looks the best burger and look at those sweet potato fries they're like glazed with something i don't even know cat <laughs> what do you have ahi wrap ahi wrap that looks really good too i'm just staring at that dig in tell us how it is first bite <laughs> i love you my time will come it will come <laughs>
going to guide you guys through some of the things that I do for competition prep that don't have to do with diet and training. There's also some things that go into competition prep that don't revolve around diet and training that I particularly do that help me feel the most prepared, that help me feel like I'm bringing the most polished package to the stage. It's all about that overall look. You have to do things that are not only going to help put your mind in the right place so that when you get on stage, you're feeling your best. But that also just helps bring together that totally 100% polished package. Especially right before a show, there's a couple of things that I definitely do a little bit differently. So usually about a week before the show, I go and I get a deep facial. And the method that I choose to use is called a hydrafacial. So this is different than your typical uh, European facial and I swear by it. I want to walk you guys through it so that you can kind of see the difference and see why I love it so much. And I usually will do the hydrafacial like a week before I compete and I feel like number one it helps my competition makeup go on so much more smoother and also more even if you guys have any questions about it I've been getting these for about a year now so comment those below I'd be happy to answer them for you taking care of my skin is like number one for me if you go back and watch my skincare video I'll put the link in this video so that you can watch it you will know that I didn't always have good skin I went through a period of time where acne was like a serious serious struggle for me I was getting like horrible cystic type acne getting these facials is something that I attribute to honestly saving my skin and amongst other things so go back and watch that skincare video if you're curious about what I did maybe you are struggling with similar issues go back and check out that video because there's definitely things that I've done that have been game changers for my skin and this is definitely one of them so follow along if you guys are interested and let's go all right guys so we're about to get started we actually already started with step one which is just cleansing so all the makeup is off of my skin right now I'm clean faced and this is the machine right behind me and we're gonna get started so we're still on the cleansing and exfoliating step yeah we are now doing the acid peel this acid is gonna peel. be your glycolic salicylic that'll help with your texture and brighten and improve um, your whole skin and the uh, formula, I guess you would call it, comes out through this little... Yeah, so we're applying it and just sits on the skin pretty much like a mask. Okay. Uh, it also has the glycolic, which is the 7.5. That's what's going to help with your texture. And then a 2-point salicylic, which is going to help with your impurities. And that's mainly what will help to stop and break down any um, congested areas. Now, I was telling YouTube in the clip before this, in the intro clip, like how this is definitely different than a regular European style facial like I always feel like my skin looks way better right after doing a hydrofacial can you just maybe touch on like wh briefly what why this is so much better <laughs> yeah so European style facials are going to be more relaxing they're definitely for those that just want to go in and have a, a clean and a facial massage ours are more of the medical grade treatments so they're definitely more for treatment no relaxation at all some is you know it's good once in a while but um, this will be more uh, active ingredients and a lot more effective okay yeah I mean I still think it's relaxing yeah it is it's true yeah it definitely is and you could do this at least once a month just for monthly maintenance mm -hmm. get the pores cleaned out and maintain just healthy all right step three so we are now bumping the vacuum section up to higher um, controls and control there uh, we're actually now cleaning out the pores, but her pores are actually really improved from doing this treatment. Yay, I love nice hearing and that. Nice clean. Less congested areas definitely here. Yeah, I've noticed huge improvements in my skin. Good. So this is just sucking up just like a nice deep cleaning, picking up any congested blackheads. And then her skin is actually looking really nice right now, so. So you guys can probably hear like the suction. It literally feels like it's like a little vacuum on your skin, just like sucking the junk out. Feels yes. so good knowing that your pores are getting cleaned up. And I will do some manual extraction just to make sure everything's clean, but I won't need to do much. Looks great. Yay, good news. Yay. Yes, yes, we're on our last step. Last this step. is actually the one of the most important because we're um, infusing a ton of healthy ingredients. So this is going to be hyaluronic acid, peptides, antioxidants, 
really helping to temporarily smooth my lines and fill in any hydration or excuse me dry patches which will be those hydrating areas i probably have a little redness right now because we just did some manual extraction yeah but it doesn't look too red that feels good I noticed this time you didn't have to do as many, so that was a good sign. <laughs> definitely, less and less as you come in and you're consistent. You'll definitely see improvement and we won't have to clean up as much. All right guys, we are all done. I have just a little bit of redness um, from the extractions, but my skin feels super duper clean. It feels really good. Yeah, She's the best. Beautiful skin. Uh, Feels so much better, honestly, yeah. since I've started being regular with getting these facials done. Pretty much we did our deep cleanse today, cleaned out the pores, which wasn't too much, but really um, maintaining that, so that's good. And now we're gonna complement it with our oxygen facial, which will infuse a ton of healthy ingredients, additional ones, and a temporary smooth fine lines. Love it, give you a nice radiant glow. So. Right before the show, it'll be so yes. perfect. You're gonna yeah. be nice Hope that you guys enjoyed this footage. Uh, let me know if you guys end up trying this out, if you find somewhere local to you, if you are somewhere um, in the LA or like Inland Empire, Inland Empire yeah. area. Um, I am at Skin Perfect Medical in Rancho, and this is Vanessa, and she's amazing, and yeah, everyone here at Skin you. Perfect is great, and they'll take really good care of you. So if you're local, come check them out.